I have had a lot of requests from people wanting to see what the soft palate does when you sing. Here's the thing. I want to show you a few things where the soft palate stays in place. And I want to show you that on an open R. I'm going to change how high and low I sing. I'm going to change registers, but that's not going to make a difference. So, only to prove to you that the soft palate can stay raised no matter whether you're singing high or low, and it doesn't matter whether you're singing softly or loudly. That raised soft palate that you can, by the way, also keep intact when you're singing other vowels other than ah, like e. What you don't see behind here on the level of the soft palate, I'm still keeping it open. And that is key in order to keep good resonance, to project, and to minimize the work that your vocal cords actually have to do. So when you amplify by creating more space, your vocal cords don't have to work as hard because you don't have to push. When you don't have good space, when you make it narrow and have a more vertical space, you always compensate by pushing harder which is not what you want to do. So keep that in mind to get the best resonance and the least amount of strain on your vocal cords. If you want more hacks and tips like these, consider joining my online singing school. The link is below. I hope to see you there. Be blessed and always keep on singing. Always keep a song in your heart. What is your big audacious dream when it comes to singing? It doesn't matter how big it is, how insane it may sound, or what anyone thinks. What is it that's truly in your heart that you want to achieve with your voice? Now, it has to be something that you can do with your voice. It has to be uniquely you if you have